everyone, it's me. Basically this video will be me doing a kind of hair get ready with me, trying to sort out this mane after I washed it into something acceptable so I can actually leave my house. Um, this video doesn't really have a purpose, but it is mainly gonna be like a New Year's resolution setting and me just talking about my year so far. So if you're interested in seeing what my hair turns into at the end and just interested in the topic I'm about to talk about, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also like and comment. So yeah, enjoy the video. Yeah, basically this year has been really good to me and obviously not many people will know but i'm really i'm a really ambitious person that sometimes i forget how far i've came because i'm too focused on the end goal i'm too like focused on i want to get here 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 and here that i forget how far i have came in my journey so far in 2016 i've graduated from uni I've passed my driving test, I've brought my own car, and I've actually moved out, so I've I've done a lot, and sometimes I forget that I have done a lot because I'm too focused on like, oh no, it's not enough, that sometimes I just need to sit down and absorb it for what it is. So hence why I, if you guys have checked it out, I did the homeless challenge, because I felt like it would just bring me down to earth a lot and just remind me of like, remind me that I'm what I'm doing is enough and I should be content and grateful that God God has blessed me with like so many opportunities in life and yeah like and this isn't the end because I tend to like age categorize everything so I'm just like by this age I have to have done this which is really bad because obviously everyone's got their own journey and you just need to kind of respect God's wishes so I'm just getting used to the fact that I'm gonna have to just like relinquish the control and like just give it to god so that's where i am in life at the moment i'm basically just gonna straighten this hair because i don't really know what else to do to it i actually love straightening my hair especially after i've just blow dried it i feel like it's just got like a completely different feel um i've got a remington double double iron barrel <laughs> i don't know what it's called basically it's just this hair straightener and it's amazing so i would recommend it not gonna lie one stroke and it's for done 2016 has really been my year of not only financial growth but also ooh, spiritually so as a person i feel like i've grew so much like oh my god like i would say that probably this time last year i was very naive as to like not what life was but my expectations of life i always believed that because i'm so like straightforward and like oh money hungry that things will naturally come to me because of my mentality but this year I realised that obviously I need to get my mind right first 100% I need to get my mind right first and then everything will follow so at the moment that is where I am and it has worked fantastically for me and I wouldn't change anything for anything. Like I wouldn't change like my learning process in terms of how I came to the conclusion of some things because I feel like without hardship, like if I didn't have hardship or anyone didn't have hardship, you would not learn, you wouldn't learn anything really. Sorry, I'm just readjusting my wig. <laughs> I'm just thankful for every journey that God has put me in and every experience that I thought would, you know, was a setback but wasn't really a setback was a major comeback instead. So, yeah, I just learned that 
good and bad. You just got to give thanks. And it's a part of God's story. It's a part of your story that God has created for you. And you just need to own it, live it, and learn from it. Because ain't there's not a better teacher than the lessons you learn from life. And that is what I've learned. So this time last year, my New Year's resolutions was basically to pass my driving test, to move out of my family home, to graduate from uni, and to get a good after uni job. And I have successfully completed all of them, which is fantastic. And yeah. Oh, this bit's a bit dodgy back for you yeah I've successfully completed all of them which I'm so happy to say my other New Year's resolutions were all also to like, I don't think I'm fat like I'm really thick but I don't know I just feel like like it's not oh, I don't know I just feel like you know like when you just feel yeah like I've got a nice body but it could be so much better than what it is especially if I've got like the basic structure. The things in 2017 that I'm looking forward to is 100% getting closer to God. 100, I can't wait to be like a living testimony in terms of how much my relationship with God has developed. And just understanding the word a bit more now that I'm 21 and at a point in my life where so many things are going right and so many places there could be room for error or I'm at a point where I'm so independent that I wouldn't want anything to come in and conflict that I feel like I need the guidance of God spiritually Okay, so 17 experiences I want to happen in 2017. So one is festival, go to a festival and camp. Another one is go to a concert, which I've kind of ticked off. I wanna to go to go A, I wanna to go to an outdoor cinema. I wanna go on a hot air balloon. I wanna to go to a weekend, a spa weekend. I wanna be a tourist in London for the day. So I wanna go on the London Eye, I wanna to go to Buckingham Palace. Even though I've been, but I feel like I live in London and I don't really reap the benefits of it. Like I haven't really explored like the history, the culture behind London. So I'd wanna do that. I wanna watch a show in theatre. I wanna to go to the Lavender Field. I wanna to travel to at least two European countries. I want to go on a picnic, I want to climb a mountain, I want to go to Gay Pride because I feel like it's going to be like the Brazilian festival and they're just... Yeah, I think that will be so exciting. Um, I want to go to a pottery class or a florist lesson because like, I don't know, like flowers have just been a thing. And I want to do a naked art class, I want to draw or paint someone while they're naked. I want to go horse riding and I want to do a photo shoot somewhere. So those are just like 17 things that I want to accomplish and obviously as the years go up 2018 I'll have 18 but I feel like having a physical copy or looking at it on my phone like that it will make me feel like I'm fulfilling my dreams kind of thing because if you just think oh I want to do this once you've actually done it you're not really fulfilled because you're there's no way of you checking your progress of how much you're actually fulfilling what you say you want to do do you know what I mean so I thought, why not just write something down and like have it as like a point of reference. I don't really slick my edges anymore, I'm not gonna lie. Mostly because I feel like it just ugh, contaminates everything. Like you slick your edges, I use Gorilla Snot or I use Caracal. So like this. And I just feel like you put it on, like it works for like 10 seconds and then it just starts becoming grease and I'm just like, bruh. I just washed my, not only my real hair, which I had to then camera, which took all together maybe, I'd say three hours. And then I've washed my weave, like nah, you're not doing me like that. You're actually not. So I'd prefer to not do any of it. So 
gonna be on with this. I think I'm just gonna turn up because I'm traveling quite far and I don't wanna have to deal with the fact that it's gonna be pissing me off. The wind is gonna blow it in a direction that I don't want it to be blown. And it's just like I'm asking for trouble. So we're straight in the back. And I'm just gonna tie it up. I'm making sure it is all very nicely brushed. And then we just tuck the top bit of the fringe into the hair wand. Just so that no one's like, Mummy, is she wearing a wig? What is that at the back of her head, Mummy? Because that's what my little sister would do. She won't stop pointing until you pull that thing off, boy. So, yeah. This is going to be my finished look. And this is the finished look. Let me just get those hers. Tame those hers. This is the finished look. Move it away from those brows because they took too damn long to get rubbed off. And yeah, it's my finished look. So if you enjoyed my get ready with me, even though I like stopped talking mid because I was trying to concentrate, feel free to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.